شدم Hey folks, welcome back. This is episode 5. Is this episode 5 or episode 6? I think it's episode 5. Episode 5 of Thunder Stream and I'm back with you commentating for your pleasure, the host of Thunder Show, Sean, also known as Pop Shark How's it all go, people? Uh, happy uh, hold on a sec. I can hear myself. Uh, yeah, well, sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day. I hope uh, you got your loved ones uh, close if you got your loved ones when you got your loved ones so how are you, how are you guys are celebrating uh the uh, you know uh the valent saint valentine's day valentine's day call it whatever you will um so we're gonna be uh, just uh chatting and playing today as usual uh we actually meant to uh get uh our games producer for an interview but he was unavailable sadly So he couldn't come. It was you know, really occupied with with the new update, apparently. So, you know, couldn't attend. Um, I have a birthday today. Martin, happy birthday. I so, Someone feels lonely. Let me let me take a look at that. Who feels lonely? Um, Patrick from Finland. Patrick, man, you got me, okay? You're not lonely. <laughs> Playing Word Thunder alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is sad. Come on. I got I have nobody to love. Okay. So I'm gonna I might not be the best War Thunder player out there, but uh I'm pretty good with ladies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys some advice on how to um um You know, get ladies. How to get a, uh, how to get attention from ladies? Okay. Rule number one. <laughs> Rule number one is you need to be confident. You need to look the part. You need to look confident, even when you don't feel confident. Okay. So that's that's, <laughs> that's very important. This is what you gotta. This is what you gotta do. That's rule number one. Okay. Um, so. Uh, imagine this. You gotta do something in front of a girl, and you're not really sure how it's done. Uh, I'm not talking, you know, physical interaction. I'm just basically she asked you to do something and you you're like, I got no idea how it's done. You should try to figure it out on the fly, but uh you gotta you gotta stay confident. That's like rule number one. I'm gonna give you more rules today. Great to see the face behind the voice, Sean. Hey Chris, thanks. Uh, my girlfriend is Italian tank P2640. It's not too bad. Gadget, because the French Level 4 tanks are fail failing against level 3 tanks, especially in relation to Germans. Six, uh, um, you should probably take that up, up, up to the forums, you know, post it on there. Because uh, I'm not a dev. I, I can't really, you know, influence that in any way. Um, my Valentine's night is spent editing my new video. What's the... Oh, Screezilla? Hey, what's up, man? Sh you show them your, your kill a death ratio. <laughs> <laughs> play realistic one, Sean. I will. I will. That's what I usually play. Sean, go to Rush Berlin, okay? Sean, will you be my Valentine today? Please, sure. Sure, Gewoon. <laughs> I will. Will you answer some questions today? Uh, I mean, you can try. On, you know, I, I can answer any question unless it's a question related to what's coming up in the next update. And, uh, you know, BR stuff. Do I agree with a certain BR of a certain vehicle or I don't? You know, so okay. Um, beyond that, you see some pictures behind me right now, and um, actually, that, that's what I wanted to discuss. That's uh, a whole new improved Dagor 5.0, an updated version of our game engine, our proprietary game engine. And um, so, what you can see is we added displacement mapping, mud, and puddles uh, to the environment, so uh, which looks really cool. So, before that. You know, um, actually, I, I probably need to give you a comparison for that real quick. Just give me a second so I can hook up the uh, hook up the browser real quick. Just give me a minute. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's give it a window capture real quick. Uh, okay. Yeah, I should probably set that up beforehand, but uh, really had no time, sadly. So I guess that's going to have to wait. Um, anyway, you, you, guys should, you guys should head to warthunter.com and just look up Dagor 5.0, and there's some pretty good comparison pictures for that. Uh, you know, you just need to compare to understand what, 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 what's going on behind that. So, um... 
uh, for for being a free to play game, Dagor looks quite nice. It does <laughs> seems legit. So um, don't worry, don't worry about your GPUs if you got potato computers. Uh, it doesn't matter because still, you know, it's really scalable. So if you got a if you got a you know subpar PC, you can still go back to the old uh, visual settings, the old graphic settings, and it's gonna look the same. You know, so ultra low is ultra low, <laughs> regardless of the uh, uh, of the engine. Yeah, so we got two dev blogs uh, dedicated to that. Just look up Dagor 5.0 on our website, and there's there's one article um, dedicated to these muds and uh, you know puddles and you know displacement mapping and stuff like this and there's also another one uh about temporal anti-aliasing you know variance clipping taa uh which is also pretty pretty cool it's basically uh you know anti-aliasing but improved so dagor 5.0 this is what you guys got to be looking at okay let me take a quick look at our comments from the facebook um all right uh, let's see. All right. Nothing interesting on Facebook, sadly. <laughs> Please do Bruce face reveal. I've never seen him myself. So I don't even think he plays the game, to be honest. I'm not sure if he does. So, uh, okay. Any codes incoming? Maybe. Later. You see, Sean, I have potato for GPU. Well... Uh, what settings do you play now? I mean, what settings do you use now to play? Sean, play a match on ULQ. What's that? Uh, my, my dog is my valentine today. If that does not work out, then myself is my valentine. Which is not bad, I mean. Not bad at all. <laughs> so, new block, new dev blocks today. I'm not really aware, uh, I'm not really aware of that. Maybe. I love you, Sean. Fa thank you, Panzer. Love you, too. How's the reflection on the puddle? It's actually pretty nice. Look up Dagor 5.0 on worthhunter.com and you'll see for yourself. Um, do you have at least one a one kill to death ratio? That's a good question. Let me let me take a look. So mm, let's see. In realistic battles, I got a, hold on a sec. Victories to battle ratio. It's unavailable for me for some odd reason. Hold on. Yeah, it's m mine's actually uh, beyond that. You can you can you can take my um, you can take my nickname, take it up with uh, Thunder Skill, and you know check it there. Um, actually, I think I'm doing pretty good <laughs> for for that matter. Okay, so how do you celebrate? How do you uh, commemorate uh, uh, Valentine's Day? What do you usually do? Do you have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever you know, any friend? <laughs> so. Uh, today I shall be uh, solely playing the British Valentine to celebrate my single life. Actually, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing uh, I'm I'm gonna be playing Valentine. Sean killed his co-host. I ate him. You see, that's why I'm so big. Sean for Valentine. <laughs> Hi Reaper. No, you're not late. We just uh, uh, we just we just started really. Yay, dev block. I didn't say there's gonna be a dev block today. I said my maybe. I'm not aware. I'm not aware of it. How about the stream naval test? It'll make it. Uh, um, uh, it's actually not a bad idea. We might, we might do that. Might do that, but next time. My hand as Valentine. Did it work? If the hand doesn't mind, I mean, sure, you know, anything could be your Valentine, I guess, if it's not against the law, which I don't think it is, so, you know, why not? Uh, add turbulence and crosswinds, please. Okay. Um, please lower IS6BR to 3.0. Yeah, might as well go down to 1.0. You know, why not? <laughs> my name is Valentine, so I get cakes from my girlfriend. That's, that's good. How are tank babies made? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I, I know how he helicopters are made. They're like the souls of deceased tanks. So, anyway, let's give it a shot. Um, play some, play some Valentine. Actually, Valentine's really good. I didn't really play much of 3.0 Valentine's. I usually played 2.3s. Uh, but I can tell you that this 2.3 at its BR, it's, it's a damn tough tank. Really good. So I'm going to I'm gonna do with the 57 mil, the Mark 9. So 112, 94. Let's see what kind of shells I'm going to take. All right, there we go. I'm going to take... 
half of my allotment. And give it a shot. Sean, will you build my, my Valentine? I'm 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 everybody everybody's Valentine, whoever plays Worth Hunter. Boy or girl, whatever. <laughs> New Death Blog is six. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I told you. Uh, you you gotta you gotta go to worthhunter.com and look up Daygore 5.0. Or just, you know, uh, look up 5.0, engine 5.0, and you'll see. It looks really good. Uh, yeah, thanks for the link, uh, Worth on our official channel. That's good. Hello from Vietnam. Hey, what's up, Vietnam? How's it going? Uh, thank you for floating Worth on our chat block voice thing. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I like your stream, but I'm French and I don't understand all you say. Man, I'm sorry. Uh, Excusez-moi, monsieur, le stupide étranger. You know, my... Uh, my uh, French is bad, so love you, worth Thunder. Hey, Thunderbird, what's up? Love you too, man. Hello from Greece. What's up, Greece? Um, Evharisto, <laughs> Evharisto, the Greece. Uh, why the game doesn't have some pink filter with flying heart for this Valentine Day? I don't know about you guys, but I got these decals, and there's actually um, there's an event going on. If you if you win three battles with at least, with at least sixty percent effectiveness. You're gonna get these decals for uh, Valentine's Day. Hi from Sweden. Uh, hey, hey, Sweden. I'm not sure if I know any Swedish words, but Vikings, <laughs> raiding, <laughs> reaving. How long will this stream be? Um, that depends. Hey from Hungary. What's up, Hungary? Belgium. Buenvenue, Belgium. Indonesia. What's up, Indonesia? How's it going? Be sure to use penetration to your advantage. Okay, Madman Dylan. Yay, Vikings raiding, <laughs> reaving, <laughs> pillaging. Hello from India, Slovenia, Netherlands. Hey, Superoxide. Thanks, man. Okay. Uh, right, well, Valentine's not a fast tank. It's not really not a fast tank, because it's an infantry tank. It's, what, it's how the British... Um, Divided their tanks into distinct classes uh, throughout World War One and before. So they had cavalry tanks, which were not as well armored as infantry tanks, but were much, much faster. And the p point of that being so they can advance with the cavalry and um, outflank enemies and stuff. So that's the point of a cavalry tank. Man, target undamaged. Seriously. What I love about Valentine is really tough. The cannon itself is not that great, but it takes it. You can take a beating. There we go. Panzer IV, easy, easy peasy. So uh, while infantry tanks were, you know, these heavier lumbering, lumbering beasts uh, that were meant to advance with the infantry. So this is, you know, that's one of them. Valentine. That's why it's so so damn slow. 18, like 20 kilometers an hour. Man, that's cruising speed. That's some cruising speed. We're cruising. Hello from Brazil. I do know the way, brother. Hello from space. I'm in my Tesla. What's up? Finland? Okay. Kiwis are better than Aussies. Oh, come on. Kiwis equal Aussies. Okay. Now, uh, there's one thing I really don't like about British cannons, and British shells in particular, because they don't have APHEs at all. I don't know why, but it's either just these, you know, big metal slugs, uh, AP shells, or uh, it's just regular HEs. Later on in the game, you can get access to hash rounds, which are cool, which I love, but... Uh, World War II vehicles, I oh, mean, these APs, they're good, they're, you know, they got good penetration, but the problem is... Why were Thunder Show and Shooting Range moved to different days? Uh, because a, a lot of people found it difficult to find time to watch both videos, so... Uh, we get better coverage, we you know, when we split content for different days. So there's one day for Thunder Show, one day for Shooting Range. It's, uh, it's reasonable, you know. Oh man, the, the... There we go, cannon breach out. Good. Not gonna be able to do much now. Hey, bud. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, my, um... My driver's back up. 
I actually hit him. I hit him with the with the smoke grenade. See that? Come on, but you got no idea what's coming. Oh, sorry about that. Kind of missed. And the reload time is terrible. There we go. Nice. <laughs> it's not fast, so you got to use, you know, whatever concealment you can. And that's precisely why I launched a, uh, a smoke grenade uh, so close. Why do you not answer this improper? Why you not put Arabic? Why? Uh, we're working on it. Don't worry. We'll eventually get all the languages, you know, there are in the game, I think. It just needs time. We've got plenty of languages so far, and uh, Arabic probably will come uh, later, so just, you know, just give it some time. Attention to the map. Uh, Sean, please say osteoporosis. That's, uh, that's a, that's a disease, I think, that has to do with bones. I'm not sure, I'm not a doctor, but osteoporosis is, uh, yeah, I think that's bone, uh, bone-related disease. Will T-72 be added? I sure hope so. <laughs> I sure hope so. Oh, proceeds to run in the zone artillery barrage, trust me. It's, uh, it's not, it's not dangerous. Alright, here we go. That's a good, juicy target. Detract him. He's not gonna be able to do much with uh, his 20s. That's a horrible wind. What? Seriously? Set me on fire? Man. I. <laughs> Did you see it? I was like, he's not gonna be able to do much with his 20s. <laughs> Just obliterates me. Wow. <laughs> that sucked. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> how. How the. What? <laughs> <laughs> that, um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, <clears throat> stuff happens. <laughs> St stuff happens. British armor. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, usually, I'm telling you, at 2.3 Valentine, it's like the mouse. It's really hard to kill. It's like the B1. Well, almost like the B1, the French B1 tier. So... <laughs> <laughs> but he found this one sweet spot in my frontal projection, and he put an AP shell in there. That was enough. <laughs> man. This sucks. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> he won't do anything in his 20s. Yeah. Yeah. That's driver vision slip for you. That's Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He found this one sweet spot he could. Well, anyway. I did fairly good so far. Uh, so, it's fine. I got plenty of spawn points for this. Play the KPZ-70. Want to see Gaijin do it? Okay, fine. I don't have KPZ-70, but I got the next best thing, which is MPT-70, which is, you know, essentially the same, same tank. I can do that. Man, that's some, uh, weird flying. This, this, this guy wants to get shot. You don't stop in mid-air in mid like this. Thank God it doesn't have bombs. Alright, mission accomplished. We did it. Yes! Can you watch my vids for you, please? Send them to Thunder Show. I will. Um, so you know the pain of the British. I do. Yeah. The British tanks, they're, uh, they're British tanks. You know. T take skill. Uh... Unless you play Valentine 2.3. Seriously, this tank is, like, it's insanely good for 2.3. Even though it only has, like, a 40 mil uh, cannon, it doesn't matter. It's a fast-firing gun. Has the same armor as the 3.0 version, but, you know. Anyway, somebody asked me to play the MBT-17. And I can do that. I think. Wait, 8.7. I gotta get me, um... I gotta get me... where do I have it? Let's see, no, that's not here. Not here. Not here either. It's probably... All right, show more, show more. Amp mouse. I'm sorry about that. Let me take a quick look over here. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, it's it's an American tank. Oh, my bad, guys. My bad. My, my bad. There we go. MBT-70 right here. All right, let's give it a shot. Please, German light tanks. I can do that. England is my city. 
How's England a city? It's a country. British tanks are my cancer. <laughs> okay. Add more Australian tanks. We will. When will Gaijin show will when will Gaijin show more ships? Soon. Um Okay. How how long do you think the stream will be? About two hours. Two hours, guys. Can you review the T114 and M50 Antos? Um uh, let's put a 60-ish BR with 300 millimeter shells. Um, they got no armor, you know, and the mobility is really not that great in terms of when you need to stop and fire, it takes a, a while to stabilize, so there's that. And there are vehicles at 6.0 that got, you know, comparable uh, penetration, but they got, you know, crappy armor. That where you, There you go, Mira. Uh, if they shoot you down, then tell them, will you be my Valentine's? <laughs> Just asking, was the Fiat uh, going to be added? You know what? I totally forgot. I should probably add a, um, before we begin, I should add me some decals for that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get myself the 14. Oh, yes. Look at the sexy tank. Now that now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's good. I like that. Okay. Now we can go back to... Um, to the battle. Um, the six-pounder on the Valentine is a great gun. You just need to learn to place your shots. Yeah, I, I, that's true. Uh, are the stealth tanks common in Thunder Show? My first TS submission has been my stealth tank in my French tank. I want to know my chance of winning. You're, uh, they're not related to, per se, you know, a particular like kind of content. What matters is the presentation. If it looks good, then it has a good chance of getting in, getting in there. So what we're looking for when we select videos for, for Thunder Show are two things or three things actually. Well, thing number one is you're looking for great looking uh, moments, right? Like, you know, something that happens rare, like a, like a plane bombing seven targets in a single bomb drop, or a shell ricocheting off one tank and then killing another tank in like I don't know, uh, 200 meters away from the original target. So there's that. Uh, thing number two we're looking for is great presentation, right? So, the, you know, if the video is made well, if it's well edited, you know, uh, has, like, great uh, great camera placement, uh, you know, uh, interesting script or whatever, it works. And finally, what we're looking for is content that doesn't violate any other kind of copyright law. So, uh, if it doesn't have, like, a copyrighted music, it, th it sh should not have any moments from movies taken, you know, stuff like this. So, that's really important. I always get kind of hyped when the new dev blocks come out. Me too, man. Sean, please say something in Russian, or is it... No, I can say it in Russian, please. Всем привет. Привет. There you go. Do you believe me now? Why do you use bushes? Bushes are are good uh, for close-range concealment. Sometimes people confuse you with scenery. Actually happened a lot of time. Um, and secondly, uh, when you're up close and somebody's like targeting you with, uh, let's say like a fast-firing uh, gun or like a really... Uh, hold on a sec. I think I saw something. I'm gonna I'm gonna leap down there and try and try and get around these guys. Anyway, so when somebody's targeting like a particular module of your tank, that helps uh, helps conceal it. You know, makes it uh, more difficult for the enemy to uh, to take that out. Yeah, for hiding your weak spots. It's, yeah, essentially, it's, yeah, that's the that's the whole point. Um, so number one, concealment. Number two, hiding your weak spots. All right, there we go. Critical hit, good. Everybody's dead in the turret. Soviet buys this. Okay, somebody finished him off. <sighs> Gotta get around. MBT-70, a great tank. Looks a lot like Abrams, if you ask me. Which is cool. Um, you know, g good mobility, great cannon. Uh, stabilizers, both vertical and horizontal, so really easy to fire on the go. ATGMs, that's a great thing. Uh, a 20 mil autocannon for a machine gun. It, that's not a great, a great thing about it, but 
Armor is <sighs> meh. You know. Do jerry cans add any protection? No, I, they don't. Come on, they're just jerry cans, man. What are they gonna protect you from? Like, uh, I don't think they're, they can stop even a pistol bullet. There we go, one shot, one kill. So, actually, the best way to take out a T55 uh, or T62 is to go for the uh, the hull. It's a lot easier to penetrate the hull than the turret. It's just before that, I didn't really have an option to go for the hull shot, so I had to uh, aim for the turret, which worked out fine. I should not go there. I sh you see what happened to this dude? I should not go there. Panther 2? Seriously? In the 9.0 battle? Good luck with that, buddy. No, I think I think it's safe to go now. Yeah, we got a bunch of people. Okay, uh, these guys can um, uh, go ahead and consolidate on the enemy spawn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go A. No, I'm not going to spawn camp. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. Nah, I won't. But I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with that. I mean, come on. When you can spawn camp, you do that all the time. You just, you know, you just hate it when it happens to you. So, if you don't want it to happen, don't let the enemy come to your base. That's how it works. In real warfare, nobody's going to be like, Oh my god, spawn camping is unfair. Nobody's going to say that. They're just going to, you know, go ahead and do their thing. So... I think that's like an extra... Uh, that's like an extra motivation not to get... Uh, sloppy. Alright, hold on a second. It's a nice target coming up. There we go. Oh, man. He's too low. Too low for me to shoot. It sucks. Alright, gotta use my binoculars. What can I see from there? Oh, there we go. That's a nice target. I gotta come up. There we go. Nice. Driver and fuel tank out. He's not going nowhere, this guy. We're gonna finish him off. With a shot through the back of the hull. There we go. Nice. Easy. Easy peasy. You see, I don't suck so bad when I'm- when I'm streaming alone for some odd reason. <laughs> Cause usually when- when there's somebody next to me, I don't know, I just suck. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably, uh, get distracted talking to other people. So, MBT-70, one of my favorite tanks, uh, you know, really, a really, really good vehicle, if you know what you're doing. Okay, I let other guys take A, that, you know, they got plenty of people there, so, I'm gonna go B. What happened to other guy? I ate him. I ate him. <laughs> uh, for dinner. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. What? <laughs> Got lucky there. What's your opinion on adding infantry? There's, uh, there's a game for that. It's called Enlisted. Look it up. Enlisted. And there's gonna be plenty of infantry, trust me. Um, but War Thunder is not... I don't think... I don't think the formula of War Thunder would work well with infantry, so... I mean, technically it's possible, but gameplay-wise, it's just... I don't think it's gonna work. Can you play the P-80? Oh, man, I suck with jets. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm really bad with jets, trust me. It's like... <sighs> German autoloader never got installed in the KPZ-70. Well, maybe, I'm not really aware of that fact. So if you want infantry action, look up enlisted. That's gonna be good. Are you planning on adding uh, Japanese heavy super heavy tanks in the future? Yeah, actually, yeah, it will happen. Well, I mean, look at other nations in the game. You can actually answer these questions yourself. It's real simple. I mean, do you see super heavy tanks in the game? Do you see the mouse? Why not, you know, why... Why do you think we're not going to add them uh, for the Japanese in time? Just give it time. Uh, games development is not a fast process. You got to understand that. It's not a fast process. 
So it takes takes time. And Gaijin is not like a huge team of people. You know, it's actually a pretty small team of real dedicated folk, but it's not big. So there's that. Oh, 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 no, please, please, God, no, please. I'm too beautiful to die. No, 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 sir, please don't shoot me. Okay, man, those smokes really saved my skin for a while. Man, this is not going to end well. This is it. This is it, guys. This is it. Come on, fix it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, no. All right. No more fire extinguisher. This is it. I'm not going to prolong the inevitable. Get out of here. Oh, wait a second. There we go. <laughs> well, that sucked. The French Tripoli got me. I'm going to get my saber. Gonna get these uh, rockets. Shoot this guy dead. <laughs> what do you think we'll put in? I don't understand the question, man. Uh, I don't think that that was an English uh, sentence there. <laughs> I don't understand what you just said. Do you have any information of the on the first April on the first April event? No, I don't. Oh, uh, hello, a fan of World War Two official. Game development is slower with a game like this because of all the source acquisition, all the hoops going through to get exclusive, truly secret documents. That's part of it. That's part of it. <laughs> Sean, what do you think um, of my PC specs? I use Intel Pentium and integrated graphics and run 20 FPS at ultra low. Russian potato farm is PC. Um, it, I mean, if it works, it's fine. Why not? Press F to pay respect. <laughs> yeah. Um... Okay, Gaijin is from Russia? Yeah, yeah. We are. Love your beard, thanks. I look like a lumberjack with, you know, with the plaid shirt and <laughs> and the beard. <laughs> or like a hipster guy. But I need glasses for that, you know, to uh, uh, to finish the looks. Well, uh, hey, Shepard, I would love to add you, but see, you can add, you cannot add more than 100 contacts. And I already got, I got my list full. I'm sorry, man. Which premium tank? Go play arcades. Okay, I will. Right, relax. Will you be my Valentine's tank? Oh, yes, Peter. Yes, sweetie. <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, which premium tank is really good, no matter tier and nation? Um, My personal f best... Man, I got, I got a few, actually, that I would recommend. Hold on a sec. For Germans, you you might want to go. Hold on, uh, Panzer III N. Actually, I'm going to show you this tank. It's really good. Papa Sean, do you have a jet? Uh, yeah, I do have a jet, but I suck with jets. I got a bunch of jets. Still, I suck. Can you see something in Russian every time you get killed? You get a kill and get killed. Why? Hi, I'm Russian. Do you know Bruce Dickinson owns a T34? Who's who's Bruce Dickinson? Is that a Yak twenty three in April full? Um, I don't know. He just got a plane uh, plane kill from two clown royal. We'll get to the Thunder show. Um, possibly if if the presentation's good enough, you know, yeah, why not? A two kilometer kill is pretty good. Uh, yeah, my work. Uh, you know, if the video was well made. Because we had, like, do you... Okay, um, raise hands who's seen our April Fool's episode of Thunder Show last year. Okay? Have you seen the kind of videos we get sometimes? People shooting videos with their cell phones off the screen <laughs> of their computers. People do that still. <laughs> and they, they send that stuff. They expect to win. And then they send us really angry letters that they're not winning. Sometimes people actually uh, uh, send letters to our game support and they're like, you know, and they're really pissed. They're angry that I made this video. I spent like an hour making it with my cell phone and I didn't win. Why? You see, some people are just, you know, they're like that. The, the incredible AA play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raise his hand. Thanks. 
So you've seen what kind of content we get sometimes with Thunder Show. Uh, luckily for lo uh, for us, luckily for us, that's like maybe like 10% of all the content we get is like that. But still, 10 is more than, you know, uh, more than there should exist, <laughs> if, if, you, if you ask me. When will you have VR and PS4? Um, I'm not sure, but from what I know, from what I understand, PS4 is, uh, I mean, it might not be powerful enough. We're looking into it, but it might not be powerful enough to do VR on the game as complex as War Thunder. So, it, it, it's, I mean, there is a possibility, but the chances are slim as far as I understand. Who judges videos are what videos are cho chosen for Thunder Show? Well, um, uh, we got two editors, uh, guys that look through all the videos that you send in, and then they shortlist. They make a short list of sixteen submissions, and then me and another co-producer of Thunder Show, Andre Artemohin, we uh, we look through that and then we select four each week. So. So anyway, this is like the first uh, premium tank I bought. That was actually before I joined up with Gaijin. That was in 2014. And Panzer 3N, you know, really liked the extra armor and stuff like this. Even though it has like the short stubby 75 assault gun, as the Germans called it. It has some pretty good heats for its BR. Uh, going at like 100 mil, you know, 100 mil of penetration, which is good. Are you Russian? Yes. I mean, it might be possible with PlayStation Pro, but as far as I understand, and I mean, don't quote me, it's not an official statement from Gadget or anything, it's just, it's my it's my understanding of it, is that uh, Sony wants, um, you know, uh, it, the game to come out in both platforms, on the regular PS4 and PS uh, VR. I mean, the PS uh, Pro, uh, if you're, like, making a VR game, it has to be able to run on both systems, and I don't think the regular PS4 is just, you know, just... I don't think it has the juice to run uh, War Thunder in VR. Because the thing is, uh, for VR to work effectively, so you don't get a headache, you don't, you know, vomit your guts out when playing, it needs uh, to run at at least 90 uh, frames per second. Uh, preferably at 120, the more the better, really. Um, so... And you know a lot of a lot of games struggle to run at 60, let alone 90 FPS. And you have to understand that VR it has like two screens essentially that you know up up in your eyes, and so that effectively needs to run at 180 FPS because you need two screens, okay, at once. So it needs to render that. I don't think I'm going to fit in from here. I always wanted to try though. No, the extra armor, extra armor gets in the way. Sorry about that. Got to get around. <clears throat> so there's that how many thunder show submissions do you get each week that depends really uh from several hundred to several thousand actually uh oh that was that was only like a couple of times though several thousand as, as far as i know uh usually several hundred uh submissions like three four hundred so you are too thick do you got a problem with that women are not objects somebody somebody get this guy out of here да русский, русский, ребят, ну что, и все, успокойтесь, все нормально, я говорю по-русски, да. Окей, okay. interesting, but why did I never win? I send in some good stuff, in my opinion, feels bad, man. Um, <coughs> I'm telling you, uh, opinions differ. <coughs> and so the video that ends up on Thunder Show has to satisfy two editors and then two producers. They, we all gotta like that video for it to pass through and some will, you know, like a particular aspect of it, some won't. So, you know, it has to be a really good video to end up on Thunder Show. War Thunder for Nintendo Switch? Um, I'm not in a position to talk about this, really. I mean, I would really love it, but... Um... I don't really think that Switch has the juice for that. Extra thick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're talking about... You're talking about my Panzer 3? I'm sorry. I got, I got uh, passive aggressive in that. I apologize. Shouldn't have done that. Could you get create a series where you show the videos that didn't make it past that short list? Well, um, sixteen videos make it to short list, and all the others don't. So you know, it's 
a pretty narrow margin. So your video has to be, has to be really good. And then <clears throat> each episode, it gets progressively tougher to select good videos because more and more submissions are getting better. You know, people are slowly realizing what we want and what we don't want uh, from our submissions. So there's that. I play Switch a lot. You know, I would love War Thunder to come out and Switch, you know, to be honest with you. But I'm not I'm not sure that's possible. But you have to understand, like, the stuff I'm telling you now about, you know, whatever comes out and doesn't come out, it's just my own personal opinion. I'm not a dev. I'm not really involved in making the game. I just help promote it. So, I do know certain aspects of how it's made, but I'm not really in a position to, you know, to judge whether or not, you know, this or that is going to happen. So, it's just take it, take it with a little bit of salt, you know. Just my own personal opinion. That's a... Uh, that that Lee is gonna suffer for doing that to me. N I didn't pen that. Okay, sorry. All right. Seriously, that's some good angling. Good. All right, he's out. All right, that guy's out of commission. Man, we blew him away. <laughs> We're thunder for Gate Boy color. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see that. Can we expect to launch an Atari 2600 and 5200? What Atari? <laughs> Specify, please. Or 7800. I actually had that <laughs> when I was younger. Um, well, that's your price. Question, when will you guys make a huge map uh, add-on for realistic, even if it's a long travel? Uh, um, I'm not sure, but I don't think many people would be interested in playing that, you know. So there's that. How do you download the template, uh, for what, for a skin? You can actually do that from the in-game, yeah, from inside the interface. Uh, go to customize, and there's an option to download a template so you can, you know, modify it. You can actually make your own skins, do you know that? It's easy. Well, I mean, it's difficult to make a good skin, but anyone can make his own skin. This is it. Sean, well, we get a punch card for punch card version of War Thunder. Um, I'm already working on it. <laughs> I love you guys. You're cool. <laughs> I love that. Oh man, no basit, no kitka na bazar. Oh, господи, парень, иди сюда попробуй сам. Я посмеюсь, как у тебя получится. Okay, hey Gajin, can you release dev blocks sooner? I'm staying up past twelve, waiting for them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go and um, um. Uh, make our um, uh, community managers hurry up. You know, gonna get a shotgun, uh, storm their office, and be like, guys, we need death blocks now. People are asking for them. Oh, you know. <clears throat> oh, uh, Sean, why did you stop hosting the shooting range? Um, it was not really my decision. It's just that uh, people decided that you know. We needed a a more mature voice for these kind of videos, and I actually agree. You know, that was a solid choice to get Bruce to do those, because my my voice is much younger. You know, it's just is is generally really young sounding. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Anyway, got too too carried away. Sorry about that. Okay, you can send a friend request, and I will accept. It just won't work because I don't have any room in my friends list. Sorry, man. The new the new voice is way better. Well, see, then then it's fine. You have no accent. How is that possible? Actually, everyone has an accent depending on where you live. I do live in Russia. Yes, in Moscow. Um, it's just uh, mine's American because you know I grew up there. That's why. Do you know who writes the dev blog? Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a bunch of people do that, not just one person. You know, it's a uh, it's a team effort. So yeah. Hey, wait! I just realized you're the voice of the shooting range. No, I'm not the voice of the shooting range. <laughs> Not anymore. I was I was the voice of the shooting range to up to episode fifty, but now I am. You know what? I want to play my favorite aircraft, please. Um, uh, but now I do Thunder Show, Crossout Show. Do you know Fly? No, I never met him. Uh, okay. So, um, could you say the ending of Thunder Show? Um, what? I don't understand that. <laughs> what hobbies do you have? <laughs> okay. I do... It was supposed to be like a Valentine's Day stream, but <laughs> we're not really talking about that because you want to talk about this. Anyway, <clears throat> my hobbies are... I'm a war gamer in terms of I play tabletop war games, a particular game involving... Um, mm, genetically modified warriors... And, you know, demons and orcs and stuff. So I, I've been playing that for 10 years. I got a pretty sizable miniature collection for that. So I play that. Like, well, tabletop, you know, not video games, tabletop. So I paint miniatures. And I'm also a live streamer in my free time, but I'm not going to promote that. Because it's, you know, just, it's not nice. So I do, but I, I never stream in English. So trust me, it's useless, you know, to try. I... Stream exclusively in Russian when I do it for my own uh, pleasure. So, there's that. Happy Valentine's Day! Finally, someone! Ah, yes. <laughs> Alright, I need to climb. Man, I hate Norway. Seriously, I've played this map for so long. This is like my least favorite map. No, it's not 30k. Let's say it's not... It's not heresy. No, I don't play that. I play, you know, the later period of it. Uh, I watched... Why did you watch? I watched Sean stream shooters in Russian. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Bitfly. Um, what's your ideal date night? There's your V-Day theme question. It's actually... A, yeah, it's really good. Um, Sean, are you married? Almost, yeah. Um, very... Have you seen the American... Have you seen the American Olympic team? Like, do a side-by-side -side comparison and tell me who's, uh, who's genetically modified, in all honesty. So, okay, yeah, what's your, what's your, what's your, like, ideal Valentine's date night? Guys, tell me that. I'm, you know, I'm really eager to uh, know your stories. Yeah, what's your ideal date night? I, I will tell you later. Uh, it's, it's you guys first. You're, you're up. Um... Is there, is that real old people in Russia named, named are Boris and Ivan? Of course, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Boris. And over there was Ivan, who just, he left. Yeah. We only have two names. It, but, and also Vladimir, but Vladimir is only reserved for presidents, so you don't become a Vladimir unless you're a president, so, yeah. Do you play Crossout? I do. I do. War Thunder and chill. Almost merry. Good luck, buddy. Yeah. Is Russian bias real? <laughs> um, four women in my bed. Nice. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm single. Is Valentine's Day going to affect Russian bias? <laughs> Maybe, if you do, if you play hard enough. You want, you want my Valentine's story? Well, I skipped college to stay longer in my bed with my girl. And of course I gave her some chocolate. She loves that stuff. That's a good story. My ideal date is actually getting one. Good. Whoa, yay, watching streams in school. You should not do that, kid. You should really study. Man, I got so carried away talking to you folks. I, uh... <laughs> I flew the wrong way. All right, now I should be over the bomb targets, like beyond bomb, bomb targets. Enemy bombers should be close here. And the altitude's right, you know, some pretty good climbing I did there. Just gonna go to the center of the map. Uh, 
Oh my god, the true slav. Yeah, that's me. Um, no, I cannot give any information of the... Even if it's a little bit. Sorry. Is, is there such thing as American bias? Oh man, come on. Seriously? Bias... Talking about bias, that's so last year. Papa, hello and happy Valentine's Day. Hey Enzo, thanks a lot. Just watching the stream while playing uh, War Thunder. That's good, man. Welcome. I spend my day sendi sending beep memes to my long-distance girlfriend. That's not bad. At least you have a girlfriend. That's a start. Even though it's long-distance. She's real, you know. Uh, it's uh, better to have a real girlfriend long-distance than a 2D uh, girl on your screen. That's just my opinion. And there's nothing wrong with 2D girlfriends. It's just that... Seriously? Oh, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna have... No, you, that's, that was dumb. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta land now. My engine's still alive. I'm lucky. But my fuel... Now, there's a problem with my fuel. There's a real problem with my fuel. It's gonna, it's gonna run out. So now I'm gonna do an emergency landing. This is- I got- I got 10- I got literally like 10 seconds of fuel left. This is not cool. This is not cool. I'm gliding. I'm gliding. Let me get more speed for that glide. I'm gonna run out of fuel. Like in two seconds, the engine's gonna die. There we go. No- no fuel. All right, well, gliding time. Let's see if I uh, if I can land this thing. Doesn't look all too pretty, does it? I think I got a hole in my left wing, <laughs> my right wing too. But yeah. <laughs> can you say my name? And I don't have a Valentine. Uh, officers, what army? Uh, don't worry, I'm I'm gonna be your Valentine. Come on, let's hang out. And it was that mo moment Sean knew he effed up. That's right. Fuel is just accessory, Sean. Same as plane. That's true. Yeah. Nothing should come between the real pilot and flying. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one to, to pull off. What I like about the BF-109 is that it uh, conserves energy really well. All right. Gear down. Oh no, oh god, please no- oh lord. <laughs> oh well, I tried. <laughs> At least I can swim to the shore, it's not far. <laughs> you can literally like walk on the bottom of the ocean there. Yeah, that sucked. Um... <laughs> Is he can read our rights? I can read your rights. That's true, man. I can. <laughs> For good pilot Sean, his own... <laughs> it's the best fuel. <laughs> funny. Uh, funny. Alright. You would have repaired. You don't have to bail. Really? Okay, well, I did bail. Sorry about that. Let me... Give me one more chance. <laughs> Please. I gotta... I gotta make amends. I, I, sorry. <laughs> Oh, man. In real life, I've got a sailplane license. Oh, man, good for you. Respect. LA-7, please? Eh, I can try that. I can try that, but after this. After this. So, you're not telling me your favorite, like, your ideal date night. What's the ideal date night? My ideal date night is to, you know, go, go to the restaurant and uh, eat. <laughs> That's really important when you're 30, you know, you got your priorities straight. First you eat <laughs> before anything else. So, um, uh, there's that. Then, um, take a stroll through, through a park, you know, for some park. Uh, maybe, I don't know, river embankment or whatever, somewhere where it's nice. Um, should be decently warm, not too warm, in my opinion. Um, please answer my private messages right now. 
Is that a, is that an order? You have to do it right now. Like answer my PMs. So and then go home <laughs> for the ideal, you know, finale of the date night. That's just you know how I see it. Um. Do you like Wing Mountain or Nose Mountain? Nose Mountain, man. Forest Place. Actually, uh, I re recognize your name. I think you've recently won on Thunder Show. So, anyway, I was saying, uh, Nose Mounted, man. All the time, if I can. Even though the cannons of this thing are Wing Mounted, the machine guns are Nose Mounted. So, Nose, nose Mounted, you know, a lot more accurate. E easier to manage. My ideal date night is based on Netflix. What's that? Best date night is fish and chips on the beach. That's good. Walk through a park and look at couples. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an order of gulag. Okay. My best date was the other weekend. Spent all day in bed with a pretty girl, drinking tea and talking about Roman and Greek history and mythology. Perfect date. Wow, Screezilla. Nice. Good for you, man. It's, it's cool. Like that. My friend and I turn off the hot and play hide and seek on pilotage server. <laughs> it's good. It's a good night. <laughs> good date night. My ideal date night is with a female that speaks to me. Good. I don't know why you guys got so much trouble with women. I mean, it's easy. You know? Trust me. Uh, girls, uh, you know, they, they want to talk to you as much as you want to talk to them. It's just that they, they're looking for confident guys. You know, you got to look confident. Um, you know, you just, even if you don't feel the part, you gotta act the part. Act confident, trust me, girls will like that. I mean, don't be an over-pompous fool, you know, an overconfident a-hole, but, uh, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta act confident, that's it. Be fun, be nice, you know, that's it, that's what girls want. Привет, Fox uh, channel. Тебе пухлички нравятся? So, you know. Do women like crippling depressions? No, they don't. Nobody likes crippling depressions. And that's your duty, you know, to overcome that crippling depression. Um, so, yeah. And trust me, women get that all the time, too, so, you know. In this episode, oh, that cool voice Sean, a brotherly hug to your brother. Happy Valentine's to you and to all Gaijin guys. Thanks. War Thunder is turning into a dating channel. Ha ha. <laughs> it's better if you're single. Well, some people prefer to stay single. It's, you know, that's, that's, that's their choice. Мой день Святого Валентина проходит в тундрочке. Люблю ее. Дональд Трамп отлично. Is it Sean? It's, it's the second, yeah, type of... Oh, man. It's a B-34. Hello. I, I got so carried away talking to you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. Got to gotta catch up with this uh, fella here. Oh, man. Be confident. Talk to them like you would to a friend. And don't go into just waiting one thing. Treat girls as a friend and then things happen. They happen. Just a lovely time and be yourself. That's true. Yeah. I mean, if you're, if you're constantly, like, fixated on this one goal, you know, that a lot of guys are fixated at, it's not going to work. So, what you need to do is, you know, uh, like, find a girl that you want to be friends with, you know, and preferably that you like, you know, as a girl, too. And it's going to work out, trust me, if you're, you know, if you're, like, a genuine friend to her. I mean, you, there's there's a possibility you might get friend zoned, of course. I Man, look at me snapping away from 600 meters. That was stupid. Uh, this is what you get for uh, reading the chat. I'm kidding. Love you guys. I gotta land this thing. It's not going to last much longer. Ah, uh, leaking fuel. Well, even though I'm leaking pretty slow, i got 17 minutes left. What about the engine itself? It's fine, so... No, it's not. Can you hear the sound? <laughs> That's the sound of impending doom. This is now our channel for dates. <laughs> 
This is great advice to head straight to friend zone. I mean, if you're confident, then you're not gonna get into friend zone. Yeah, I mean, still, you gotta befriend befriend the girl, but you know, you gotta be a man about it. So you gotta um, let her see what you you know, what you won't. Uh, in the end, I mean, well, I don't mean that. What I mean is, is that you want you know to you know spend your life with her. So, we all need someone, you know, to be with us, you know, to be our partner in life and stuff, and girls want that too, so, you know, oop, if you want, if you can make your intentions clear from that part. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for, for another pass. Any tips on dating a mouse? <laughs> yeah. Man, my oil is out, I think. Alright, I'm gonna land here. In the desert. In the sands, okay. Verdammt! <laughs> okay, I think that's a tad bit too far from the landing field. <laughs> Oops. All right, that's the land. Oh, hey, not too far. Man, I'm so lucky. It's like, <laughs> that's considered close enough. <laughs> so I, I imagine these mechanics over there. What is that AO doing over there? You know, making us walk all the way in the, in the desert <laughs> to fix his aircraft. <laughs> all right, it, it worked. I got lucky there. Best landing. Yeah, totally. Uh, does my friend have your consent to marry a Spitfire? Sure, go ahead and... <laughs> Sean to Gulag now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, at least the pilot doesn't need to walk for so long. That's true. That's true. It's not too bad. Hey, check out my YouTube channel, Hans. Uh, I will try later, okay? <laughs> um, do you prefer the seminary cockpit over the... I, I prefer the virtual cockpit where I see no cockpit. You know, it's first person, but no cockpit. Uh, I play this when I play, uh, VR. I play, like, real cockpit. Um, uh, but usually I just go with this. And you're now officially a Sandman, that's me. Uh, who and how... Well, voiceovers, I mean, you know, you just go and record stuff. It's true. Show us Leo 2K. There's a dev block for Leo 2K. You can go and look that up. Leopard 2K? Looks like a new uh, high-tier uh, German tank for, uh, the, well, Germany, naturally. The new meme is born. One meme. <laughs> they actually really did that during the war. Center recovery vehicles to haul planes and their pods back to base repairs. That is. That's true, yeah. It was just nearly as fast as War Thunder. Well, that's ga that's a game. You know, do you want to wait like 20 minutes for your aircraft to be fixed? Actually, that would take probably longer than 20 minutes. Oh my god. Somebody, somebody get this guy out of here. It's Kandajka. You see? Man, seriously. All politics. Come on, take it easy, buddy. Thanks. Thanks, Fidel. Thanks, man. Good job. Good job, Fidel. You got my back, man. Um, don't be, don't, don't be a-holes, people. We got, we got moderators working. <laughs> Please say, enjoy your Golden Eagles. Yeah. Uh, was that close enough <laughs> to the show? All right. Ah, uh, they got one guy left. So let me see if I got any orders that I can, um, do for this. Orders. Be the best. Avenger, anti-Mac, Avenger. Let's do Avenger. There he is. Good. Found him. I'm too far away to actually do anything about this, but I'm just gonna read your stuff. Uh, <clears throat> why can't you change the bomb load on the ba on the airfield? I would love this option. Uh, actually, that's a fair point. Yeah. Um, well, you need to select, you know, your stuff beforehand for now. So... Sean, I dated the BMP. What do I buy for her? Get her some good oil, <laughs> some good gasoline, you know, 
73 mil shells. That works too. I just came here and okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, eh, 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 okay, here we go. Uh, did I miss that stream that I was told with the developer Q&A after Big Gun stream? Um, we were supposed to do a Q&A today, but our uh, producer couldn't find time to participate. You know, he's busy working on the uh, new update. So 1.77. He couldn't come. You know, we tried hard and he couldn't, so sadly. I was l really looking forward to that. Uh, even I got some questions for, for that guy. <laughs> You know? He's probably like the busiest guy in the office, you know? I sometimes see him, but he's just like, pew, 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 you know, goes goes past, does, does things, runs away. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> you know, really hard to get a hold of, so... Slippery guy. I think you can change the bomb load. I'm really, I'm not sure, I don't really fly bombers all that much anymore. After landing, you have to repair and eject and don't lose your plane. There you go, see? Sean, you can change. See, thanks a lot, guys, for correcting me. Um, why do you look like a Muslim? What do you mean I look like a Muslim? I don't think that's a... Uh... What? Do I look like a Muslim? What What are you talking about? First of all, there's nothing wrong with being a Muslim. Um, uh, but I'm not. No. Well, wow. I got my gear out? Seriously? What? See... <laughs> I accidentally pressed G and deployed my landing gear. It's not good. Oh, there you go. Thanks. I don't need that. Useless. <laughs> no Valentine tank gameplay. I actually did that today with the Valentine uh, earlier in the stream. Are you Russian or American? I'm both, I guess. By the way, there's another dev blog that just came out, also related to new uh, graphics um, improvements in 1.77. You you can actually go to the worth to worthunder.com and look it up. Sean is the most handsome man in the entire world. You look awesome, Sean. I love you and your voice. Thanks, uh, Samuel. Thanks a lot. How do you learn to speak English so well? Well, I was locked up in the cellar. Uh, with an English dictionary and um, uh, BBC radio show, radio dramas for for 25 years. That was my only um, interaction with the outside world. That's how I learned to speak English. My God. You look normal, dude. Don't listen to them. I know I look normal. Some people are just... Uh... Fidel, can you, can you help this guy? A little bit? Hey, Muslim, do you know an AK? It's fine, Stelios. My moderator is going to tell you. Is gonna, he's going to tell you uh, if I own an AK and if I'm a Muslim. Oh, that Spitfire already left the airfield. <laughs> he's getting, uh... He's getting... He's getting brave. Look at that. Attacking all these guys. Mmm... Uh, thanks for the stream, Love War Thunder, and the gr and great work going into it. Keep it up. Thanks a lot, Simon. Thanks a lot, Simon. That's uh, I appreciate it. Locked up, uh, locked up, uh, locked up like a prison. That's right. Yeah. You look like a Mexican. That's the funny thing, actually. Uh, when I go to Spain. The Spaniards, they're like, hey, you look like us. <laughs> when I go to Egypt, you know, the Arabs go like, you look like us. Even though I'm neither, I'm not an Arab or even remotely Arabic or, you know, uh, Hispanic. I'm not. <laughs> I'm Tatar, okay? I'm, well, half Tatar, half Russian, half Russian, half Tatar, so there's that. Um, tanks go choo-choo, man. You gotta... You gotta take it easy, right? Alright, relax. I will take a look at your PMs later, after the live stream. Sean, best secret agent ever. That's true, I mean, I can, like, infiltrate pretty much anything. Look at me, I can infiltrate, you know, Mexican something agency, you know? Uh, or an Arab, Arab something agency. Um, Russian, American. <laughs> so there's that. I can, like, I can look like anything. I look like your whatever. Um... 
What do you think I look like? <laughs> Let's ask the chat, okay? If you didn't know who I was, what do you think I look like? Okay, one more time with the Valentine, because you've been asking so nicely. I gotta try the uh, the six pounder. That's the six pounder, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, the 75. <laughs> so, hey, Fridas, what's up? You know what? With short beard and hair, you look a bit like Arab. I know. It's fine. <laughs> Arab. Okay. So, one one for Arab. <laughs> Funny. Okay. My ideal Valentine's Day is going out for dinner with you. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Mikiel. <laughs> Human. Thanks. Polish? Seriously? Oh, that's the, that's the first time. Greetings from Serbia. Well, worth honor in future to add tanks from Serbia, Yugoslavia. I'm not really sure of that, but I'll be pretty cool. I would I would totally support that. Um, do you own an uh, added ass tracksuit? I don't know. I don't have that. I'm a Highlander from Tatrian, Poland. Good for you. Probably Spanish. You look like my brother. All right. Rap singer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'd be called something like Sean G fifty C, huh? You look like the man who makes kebab near my house. That's interesting. <laughs> Even though I got like no, absolutely no Arabic blood in me, absolutely not, not a single drop. <laughs> you look like a human being. Thanks. You look like Jack Black. No, I don't. By the voice, if I wouldn't see you on stream, I would say you're slightly under thirty years old and from UK. C come on, Thomas. I don't. I don't sound remotely like a like a lad from the UK because my my British English is terrible. I don't have a tracksuit. <laughs> Funny thing is, I don't even at home. I I just I don't. <laughs> All right. Um. Nobody's going for C. You look like American who plays on PS4. Actually, I I did start playing War Thunder on PS4, so that's kind of kind of true. I only have 45 minutes, so I would like to spend it with you. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Greetings from Bulgaria, comrade. What's up, Bulgaria? I would say you look like a cool dude. See? There you go. Good. You look like a cool guy who loves gaming. Thanks, man. You looks like DJ Khalid. <laughs> Deutschland. What's up? Where's the rest of your body, Sean? I don't have a body. I'm, um... I was made in the, uh... In the test tube. In the... In Gaijin's secret lab. <laughs> To propagate our game in the West. The installed, um... Installed knowledge of English into my head. I'm not a real human being. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's try one more time. Man, I can- I gotta- I gotta wait for the shots to land. Man, I gotta aim higher. Oh, seriously. I gotta get out of here. Now. Oh my god, the British... Oh, reverse gear is terrible. It's terrible. God damn it. I apologize. That sucked. Alright, default. Yeah, I'm gonna go with... De no, I'm not gonna go with default. I'm gonna go with AP... APTs. You look like a Mexican. All right, he's a Western spy. <laughs> Greetings from Mas uh, from Macedonia. What's up, Macedonia? Another zone captured. <laughs> I really got to shave this beard. <laughs> mm, so when do we see a dev blog about you, Sean? I've, I've never probably, unless I become like a game character, which is unlikely. <laughs> I look British. Okay. You look like a bloody capitalist. Seriously? You're calling me a capitalist? Fine, I'll show you what capitalist is. <laughs> United forever! Friendship <laughs> and labor! Our mighty republics will ever endure- <laughs> A great Soviet Union will live through the- <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Are you calling me capitalist? <laughs> Uh, I got my- I got my Soviet bias t-shirt on today. <laughs> okay. 
Are other devs as hot as you? No, nobody as hot as me. <laughs> you look like a Jude. What do you mean, like a Jew? Well, is there anything wrong with looking like a Jew? <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, I threw that t-shirt on completely by accident. And then when I came to the office, I realized, I mean, man, I'm wearing my Soviet t-shirt. <laughs> and I'm like, I can use that. I can use that for the stream. <laughs> For God's sake, don't ask to see his boxers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh. <laughs> you look like the guy on War Thunder's stream. Thanks. I <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I, I have that shirt. <laughs> hey, Romania, what's up? Oh. oh, man. That's so funny. I waited for that moment. I, 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 I wanted to use that t-shirt so much, and I, and I got to do it. It's, it's beautiful. Man, I love my job. Yeah, I, I love my job. Oh. Uh, Tiger 2 SLA 16, I actually do that. Yeah, it's a good tank. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I played it, too. So, yeah, that's a good, um, good idea. I'm gonna play it next. Hello from Indonesia. What's up, Indonesia? Come on. You look like a Vulcan. What do you mean, like a Vulcan? Who's a Vulcan? What's a Vulcan? <laughs> a potato, that's funny. Our artillery's ready. Now... Man, these guys, uh... These guys are gonna lose. They got C, but... We got A and B. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'll flank these guys. Hey, Tomic, what's up? Sean, do you have any idea when PS4 VR will come out? You might wanna... Uh, reverse a little bit, you know, go back, uh, like about 40 minutes up the stream, go back and, and just, uh, I actually, I, I vocalized my thoughts on PS4, VR, and War Thunder t coming together, so I already answered that question earlier, uh, on the stream. Please watch that. Hello from Serbia. Hello, Serbia. Is the development of War Thunder being influenced by the Kremlin? We wish. Oh man! Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh Lord! This is like my uh, the Michael Bay movie. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was bad. Okay, Tiger Two SLA sixteen. Hello from Estonia. What's up, Estonia? Um. Yeah, I'm not a dev per se, but let's just say it's entirely possible. Xbox. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> I didn't say anything. Okay, uh, Tiger Two. SLA 16. I have that. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, let's give it a shot. Why are War Thunder streams not remaining YouTube after the stream? Uh, not to confuse viewers, I guess. You know. Nanad, you, you're welcome, man. Hello from Italy. You look like the KV2. I'm not really sure if that's a compliment or not. Hello from Slovakia. Hello from Scotland, mate. Hello, Scotland. Germany. Hello from Dittus land. I don't think that's a that's a real place in the world. Um. So is this so this is what you look like, huh? You know what it actually f know now what it actually fits your voice. Thanks, man. Um. Hello from Germania. <laughs> you look like Sean. How old are you? I'm thirty. I'm gonna be uh, thirty-one. Uh, February twenty-third. So, uh, real soon. Hello from North Cor North Korea. Somehow I, I I doubt that. Hello from 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 the UK. Hey, the UK. It's not just UK. It's the UK. Uh, try to speak French. Oh my God, my French sucks. Oh, bon bonjour, Monsieur. I'm driving the machar to the enemy position. Position. You look like my friend Robbie. He's a subhuman, though. 
that's that's no problem. We're gonna fix that. Can you help the subhuman uh, fella here, please? You look like a proper na narrator. <laughs> proper. Oh, gee, thanks, Griffin. Um. <laughs> can we, can we hold you an early birthday party on the twenty second? What are you guys gonna get me for the for the birthday party? <laughs> hey, Scotland, what's up? You look like the guy from Thunder Show. That's a correct answer. Yeah, I am. Okay. Um. Ah, perfect fringe. Good job. <laughs> you got a face for a narration. That's that's a good one, actually. I I totally agree. That's why I work. Uh, you know, behind behind camera from behind camera, because <laughs> nah, my face is really cut for you know, for for live stuff like this. Even though I'm doing it right now. But you guys are gamers, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is not a fashion show. Hello from Lithuania. Uh, What's up, Lithuania? I will give you a hog, Sean. Thanks. Love, that's it. I will get you a mouse. I have a mouse. No, you need to be 50 plus to be a true narrator. Welcome to Thunder Show. Welcome, yo, Thunder Show. Yeah, we gotta try that sometime. Okay. Um, our guys are taking B. That's good. Glasgow! Nice! Republic of Korea. Teach you swear words in Russian. Yeah, and get fired. No, thanks. Some other time, guys. When I get uh, tired of my job, I might. But it's not gonna happen today. <laughs> I'll give you a do dose of STRV-81 crumpet for your birthday party. Please don't. <laughs> do you ever go hunting with an AK-47? Of course, all the damn time. After I um after I'm done uh, uh, walking my bear and driving my T thirty four to work, I I go hunting with the T uh, with I mean the AK forty seven of course that's all what I do all the time. <laughs> Hello from Belgium. Hey, speaking of Valentine, what is the difference? Oh man, I I totally missed that. Why aren't you the voice of Thunder Show anymore? What? Since when? I just <laughs> I just recorded the, an episode today. What are you talking about? I just- I just flew German. Okay, go. Got cannon breach on this on this guy? No, you're not gonna shoot me. Oh man, that's not good. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm s dead. Somebody help! Oh, oh. <coughs> this sucks. Do you ride a burst shirtless? I do. I do. That's how we do things over here. Yep. Alright, Coelian. This is my last chance. Just turned 21 on the 8th. Hey man, congrats. I'm gonna turn 31 on 23rd. Hey, I'm one of the PS4 players. I've been wondering recently why I have to face a 4.7 BR German P47 and a 2.7... What? That's not not possible. BR system doesn't work like that. Um, it works. It goes a full one up and full one down, meaning like a full digit up or a full digit down. So if you're playing a 2.7, you cannot get ma match made with vehicles above BR 3.7. That's impossible. Technically impossible, so... Make sure you don't have any vehicle that that's like above 2.7 if you want a 2.7 up to 3.7 battle. So, you can get up tiered, down tiered, but only one full digit of BR. So, um, that's just, you cannot, you know, encounter uh, like a, a vehicle or an aircraft that's like a, the two BRs above you. Hey, Sean, my girlfriend is watching you with me right now. Say hello to Carol. Hey, Carol, what's up? Carol. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Why don't you narrate the shooting range anymore? I already answered that. Come on, guys. Seriously. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah, I told you. That was a good thunderbolt. Too bad it's dead now. Oops. Hey, Blitz, what's up? How are you doing, man? 
All right, got to get closer. Uh, has anyone heard from Anastasia of uh, Thunder News recently? I miss her sometimes. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is that a shooting star? Man, an awful lot of jets here. Crazy. Man, I wish I had a... I had a lead marker. I wish, I wish this was arcade. But it isn't. Come on, goddammit, this, this slow turret, please. Oh, man. Oh, I did try. Do you have pants on? Yes, I do. Call Thunder Show. Yeah, привет, привет. There we go. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God, the slow turret. Lord. Is it like hand-operated, hand-cranked or something? It's so slow. This is just not my day with this, uh, SBAA. Seriously. I suck so bad. Oh, Lord. Now this. Ugh, run away! Run away! Okay. Man, ATGM's flying. Oh! Lucky me! I don't think I have a... repair kit. <laughs> okay. That's... bad. Oh, come on! Uh Oh, Quillian! Oh, you can do it, man! Come on! Oh. No, it's electric. Well... It's crep ectric <laughs> Farmer. Uh, will Xbox and PS4 be playing together, or, uh... 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 I'm not sure about that, really. Uh... Have you ever seen a game where that happened before? That should be like an, an indication, you know, of what's to come. Why is there no Arabic language in the game? Uh, we're working on it. Uh, but I I think, it's just my opinion, you know, don't quote me on that. Uh, it's all about, you know, priorities. It depends on how many possible players we have in what region, you know. So naturally our interpreters and translators and stuff will uh, concentrate on a particular language first before they move on to the next so there's that um that's really important to understand so arabic will come but in time you know not immediately what do you think about a crossover between you and fly i've only like seen maybe one or two videos of fly i don't mind but you should ask him oh man yeah i was a shooting star <laughs> oh lord. Uh, co-host, I actually kind of agree that, like, the best, uh, stuff happens below 5.7. Starting with 2.0 and up to 5.7, that's, like, the, the best gameplay you can have, in my opinion. Uh, okay, we haven't played... Yeah, that sucked so bad, Tur game. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go kill myself, right? Uh, so, um... What I'm gonna do, let's play some Soviets, since I got this t-shirt on, might as well. What do I want to play? Let's see, let's, let's do some low battle, low, low BR. I want to do TT-126. I love this tank, it's awesome. Um, who's the voice behind the... Behind in the game nation for tank. I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know. They, they, these people been recorded before I actually joined up with Gaijin. 
um, at least for the, you know, for the Soviet Union, the Germany stuff, you know, for the First Nations. Oh, Patty boy, I answered this question earlier in the stream. Just look it up. Okay. <laughs> Russian bias, that's right. You see you got the t-shirt on and stuff. <laughs> it's bias time. I'm gonna go for B now. He's Gaijin's new advanced AI. He's Gaijin's genetically designed AI. That's true. I'm not a real human. I don't like have the, you know, the... the, the the lower part of my body, it's actually a tank tank tracks, you know, small motorized tank tracks. It's how I move move around the office. It's my um, uh, preferred way of locomotion. Hey, Nikolai, what's up? Uh, how did you join Gaijin to play games? Oh, that's a long story. Okay, come on. Got to get to B. Got to get to B. We no longer have the vantage. All right, I'm going to let that Panzer IV go first. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. I hit him. But I don't think that was with my cannon. I hit him with artillery. There we go. Nice. Three against one. Man, this guy was... had rotten luck today. <laughs> Track reveal, please. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm shy. <laughs> look at... Look at that Sakura behind his tank. That's funny. A real samurai, that Panzer IV. A real samurai. There we go. Capping B gonna hide here. Okay, that's uh, that's a friendly. I, I heard an engine behind me. That's a friendly. I should probably stay back until I capture the point at least. They took, uh, they took A. Which is not good. Well, well, probably half the enemy team is waiting for me to uh, pop up from behind this corner, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back A, top side of the town. Attention to the map. Is he able to see this chat? <laughs> what do you think, Cannonball Chow? You're looking at six bushes. <laughs> I have six bushes <laughs> in the front of my tank. That's real good for, you know, clinch battles. Uh, people cannot tell where your driver slit vision is. I mean, uh, uh, driver vision slit is, like optical sight and stuff. All right, come on. You guys talk about bias all the time, but is it really fair? Have you tried looking at Call of Duty? Or, like, you know, um, or any other, like, major game or stuff like this? Um, it doesn't really be, I mean, it doesn't really have to be that particular game or any other, like, big game. Um, and the way, like, the Western countries and stuff are pictured there and stuff. So, you know, um... And look, uh, look at the way the all the other you know countries are pictured in like these big you know budget titles game uh, like big budget games, big budget titles. So um, nobody says like American bias, right, or stuff like this. So you know that's unfair. And uh, I think we got a lot more balance in, in terms of like you can get like an American tank that can destroy a Soviet tank or a German tank or whatever. So. Uh, Bias is just is in your heads, guys. It's you know it's not real. 
Seriously? I, is this guy gonna help me? Yeah, he finally did. Bias or no bias, I mean, you know, if you suck, if even the, like, the best vehicle in the game is not going to help you. And if you're good, you don't need a premium vehicle, you know, to be good, so. Uh, I know it's fun to say Russian bias. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, you know, it's really not, it's not that fair. There we go. Good. I'm going to finish him off. There we go. Nice. Attention to the map. Oh, man. Okay, that ricochet. Not good. Target undamaged. Okay, somebody else uh, got him. Oof, 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 oof. That hurts. Don't do that. All right, let's get this guy. Hey, thanks, Mike. Appreciate it. Okie dokie. I think I'm gonna uh, take cover behind uh, this barn here. I no, I don't really play arcade battles. I usually play. I just play RB. Arcade is too arcadey for me, which is. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but uh, the point is, uh, I prefer the you know realistic fly model and tank uh, driving model and stuff. Just like it more. I got. I still got plenty of time. Let's try this guy. There we go. Now run. Run, 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 run! I think I'm gonna go for C from here. See if I can do anything. I play planes all the time. I just play RB. I mean, Eternal. Uh, and I'm just in the mood for tanks today. It doesn't show anything. It's just, you know, it's what you think. So... Okay. Can we have some refitted arcade maps for ARB? Man, I would love that so much. Uh, but I don't think that would fit, you know, the formula of uh, realistic battles. I love how they look, arcade, uh, you know, air maps. We should, we should actually do a little bit of air arcade after this. Just to, you know, just to bask in the glory of arcade air maps. Uh, we're gonna see some colla uh, collaboration with Fly or, or Alco. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know, if they want it, or if I'm told to do it, yeah, fine. You have to understand, I mean, um, I, look, this is, this is me doing stuff as an employee, you know. I don't always get to decide what I do and what I don't do. Very good. There we go. Always go... Sean, you can read it? Always go for the turret first. You know, disable uh, everybody and everything in the turret. And then go for the whole shot. That's how I do it. Every single time. Works for me. Alright, gotta hide. And cap. T 
126, very good tank. It's like a baby T-34 at a lower BR. Uh, you know, less mobile, cannon's not as powerful, armor's not as good, but still, it's the it's the best, it's the next best, uh, it's the next best thing. Oh, sorry about that. I'm so dead. Maybe not, yeah, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> How can I donate money to this channel? You can't. <laughs> it's an official channel, we don't, we don't do donations. So... Uh, okay. Huh? You know what? Might as well do this. No, no. Bad idea. Don't do this. My, my shock. I love it. Mmm. Any chance of getting incoming air warning on the team radio? Uh, that's actually a fair point. Play the MBT. I already did. Dabo. Just today. I mean, just like an hour ago. Less than that, probably. Less than that, probably. To donate, just buy something in the War Thunder store. That's true. Yeah. Go, uh, go ahead and get yourself a premium vehicle. Like, or a premium pack of vehicles. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna help the development. Way better than donating to this channel, so... <laughs> Kaijin Patreon win. <laughs> Alrighty. Man, I'm I suck with these rockets. Oh wow. Woo! That was close. That's a P shooter, I think. No, it's not a P shooter. That's an F2A. Funny. Not gonna hit me. Maybe a little. How did I miss that? All right, that's that's a Sherman. I'm gonna pen him with the, with my twenties. All right, I think this guy lost me. Yeah, he did. My engine's not doing too good. I'm leaking oil. As you can see from the, uh, you know, the black splash in my windshield. There we go. That was a decent pass. Gotta, gotta get back to the base, though. I mean, my plane's not doing too good. And that M4 is pestering me. If we don't do fast, the enemy Ow! Stop hurting me! I'm just a little green Soviet plane. Please! No, 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 no! Oh, God. Oh, I got another one on my tail. Not good. Someone, please help. Oh, Lord, come on. Where's this guy going? Straight for our airfield. No, he's turning back. Yeah, he's turning back. Now is going to be the time to get him. You should play some sim. I suck at sim, uh, to be honest with you. I don't think I should. That's not for me. We're going to play air, air arcade after this. I think I'm in the mood. Nah, I don't... I don't have what it takes to chase this guy. I'm not with this engine. He survived a 75 millimeter can. What are you talking about? I got um, I got shot with uh, with a 50 cal, not a 75. Yeah, it's not gonna stay airborne for long. Got to land it. The engine's dying already here. Come on, baby, you can do it. I'm gonna whip it. Oh man, I'm gonna crash. Hey Sky, man, I, I I'm sorry for you, man. I'm sorry. You, you'll you'll find someone better. Don't worry. Just give it time. Another zone captured. We have the event. Do you have a cat? Actually I do. Yeah, she, uh, like, uh, it's a female cat. She's 18 years old. Um, she's like a calico cat, in terms of color. So.
<laughs> That's funny, Azarius. I like that. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, 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 come on. Ugh. Okay, my, my propeller is kind of messed up, but otherwise the aircraft's fine. I gotta got got to stop it now. Come on. Ooh. You gotta admit, though, you just survived the 75mm HE shell. What are you talking about? When did that happen? Do you have proof? Like, I wasn't shot by by the cannon. I was shot by... He was shooting me with a machine gun. If he if that HE connected, I would not be flying. I don't think there's an aircraft that can survive a 75 hit with a HE. You know, 75 mil HE hit. I don't think that's technically possible. Perfect landing. Well, uh, considering what happened to my aircraft, I mean, it was barely flying. Yeah, I think that was a pretty good landing, actually. So... What's her name? Her name's Elisa. My, my, my cat's Elisa. Or Alice, you know, if you... But it's actually Elisa. Big boom. What big boom? What are you talking about? The roughest landing in Soviet history. <laughs> Any landing you can walk away from is a successful landing. That's true. You could hear it and see it. What are you talking about, Nimori? Are you trying to troll me? Please, somebody give him a timeout. What, what is he talking about? Yeah, Nimori is just a hater. T time him out, please. You know, he needs to relax a little bit. My cat's name's Freya. Like the love god. Cool. That's, that's a cool name for a cat. The pile is on the ground, and a lot. Uh, the plane's on the ground, the pile is alive. Successful landing, that's true. No, Alisa, not Alyosha. <laughs> Alyosha is a male name. <laughs> you don't call, you know, female cats or, you know, women or whatever, you know. <laughs> Females in general. Do you know? I do know, yeah, Mitchell. I, I yeah, I know who that is. Chapter master of uh, <clears throat> wolves, so. I know. We are winning, uh, a little bit slowly, but we are. Once down our league season two, we actually had season two. Uh, you mean season three? That's good, that's a good question. Am I being tailed? No, I don't think so. No, oh, engine overheated. Alright, no problem. Please, Lord, let me hit something with these rockets at least once in my life. No, of course not, because I suck with them. Well, might as well strafe him with my 20s. He's missing a couple of crew members already. You see they're blacked out. Uh, Enemy forces have captured a zone. Mission accomplished. We did it. Yay. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have a cat. His name's Cotton. My mom gave him his name. That's a good name. Okay. Let's let's do some air RB. We'll just see what are we gonna what are we gonna fly? What are we gonna fly? Might as well let's do some Americans. You know what? Let's do Americans. I'm gonna do with 3.0. Yeah, that should be fine. Come on, let's let's give it a shot. I'm gonna gonna fly in a P39 and Air Cobra. Uh, you will never hit anything. I know. I suck. I want to know something. There's a KGB agent behind him with a. It's a, it's called Makarov. It's not Makarov, but whatever. <laughs> you know some lore. Trust me, I know. I know it pretty good. <clears throat> uh, w winning, but only a little by little. <laughs> Hey, Sean, what do you think of the Challenger 1 for Britain's Tier 6? Really haven't played it much, so no opinion, to be honest. That was a close game. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a clutch game.
I don't think that's that's realistic battles again. Seriously? Man. I'm gonna bail out. <laughs> Makarov is a Makarov was a uh, weapon designer, uh, weapon engineer. And Makarov pistol was yeah, one of his uh, creations. You know, one of his uh, weapons. Just like Browning's not a gun, it's a man who designed guns. So, there you go. Okay, uh... Ooh. I'm gonna go with... Soviet slash air arcade battles. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Soviet slash Germans. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna talk politics on here, Robert De Niro, so there's no point in asking me. Um, the Bell Cobras. They're actually not bad, a real charter. Uh, the real charter, man, that's a really, um... It's a really familiar nickname. I've heard somewhere. Lol, just gave away that, that challenge. How? How I did that? I don't know. You guys make some really funny assumptions, you know that? Uh... Makarov is an accurate... I actually fired Makarov, it's alright. I mean... It's not too bad. Really, really comfortable in your hands. Lacks stopping power, but that's like, uh, that's the only major problem for that gun. It's not a whole lot of stopping power, so. What do you think of all these German 47s in RB these days? Well, it's a popular plane, actually. People are gonna fly it. There we go. Alright. It's time to get me some frags. P7. I'm gonna go with P61 first. It's gonna be an easy target, I think. Man, this is like... That is like a walk in a park. Playing arcade. After your RB, especially. One down. Oh man, seriously. Again. I keep getting shot in my uh, oil tank like old all, all stream long. I don't know why. Okay, where's the landing field? There it is. Come on, aircraft, please, maybe. Hold on, come on. Logan Paul, yeah, I heard of him. Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you my opinion on, on this thing, but uh yeah. You really like that view. Oh, you've noticed. How very perceptive of you. Have you, uh, considered becoming a detective? <laughs> oh, I'm not doing too good, man. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh, uh, there's the airfield. I can do it. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, baby. We can land. We can land this thing. Alright, good. Can you play some Jets Air RB? I mean, I can try with... Uh, uh, but I'm gonna suck bad. Trust me, I don't... I'm, I don't really like Jets. To be honest. Man, the the brakes <laughs> in Air RB they work like like a charm. Amazing. I would not be able to do this landing in in RB in arcade is <laughs> so so fast. Amazing. Uh, will we get Fat Man Little Boy for B twenty one? Yeah, just nuke the map. <laughs> Why bother? Nuke the map. Do you have a tattoo? No, I don't have tattoos. 
I, I have yet to see a man um, older than 45 who was proud of his tattoos. So I learned from them. You know, somehow I don't think I'm going to be very proud of my tattoos when I'm like 50 or whatever. So that's why I don't get any. And I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have anything that I, uh, let's say, I adore so much as to put on my body. So, no. P63, gotta be careful around that. Man, there's a lot of these guys. P-51. Yeah, I gotta climb. Mmm. Oh. Well, sorry about that. <laughs> Just hit my mic. Almost like rammed it in the, into the screen. <laughs> Almost. I'm I meant to get my uh my cup, you know, drink some water. Uh I'm out of water and uh almost almost destroyed like a really expensive screen. <laughs> I didn't though. Almost. Oh man, rammed me. Oh, I, oh, I rammed him, so there's that. Okay, guys, I think this is all we have time for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining in. Um, I expect some, some likes on YouTube from you, uh, because this is the only thing that keeps us going here <laughs> for your uh, Thunder Streams. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, we talked a little bit of romance. Uh, we can all do with a little bit more romance in our lives. Um, don't forget, we got a, we got an event going on. Uh, win three battles consecutively with at least 60% effectiveness and get these uh, cool uh, Valentine's Day decals. Uh, you know, they're really nice. <laughs> Real romantic. Um, um, Joe, how about you do it? Now watch. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks a lot for joining in. That was cool. I'm, I'm going to be seeing you next week, next Wednesday. Probably around the same time. I will try to get someone to answer your and my questions uh, for the next episode. We did try to get our producer, the game producer, uh, for today's episode, but he was, you know, real busy, couldn't attend. So uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna be seeing you next time, guys. Thanks for joining in. Commentating for your pleasure today was uh, Sean, also known as Popster K, the Voice of Thunder Show. All right, guys. Uh, see you later. Bye.